Okay, so um, thanks for coming back for some more practice materials. I hope these are useful for you. Uh, just one thing I want to say, which I say before all of these, and that is I don't write the exams for anywhere. <laughs> I have no part in making exams. I just made this because I like making practice materials. So I hope it's useful for you. Okay, so what do we have today? We have detailed reading. And the first text is about Egypt in North Africa. The second text about Morocco in Northwest Africa. So we've got two African countries and we're going to be looking at the history of their trade. All right, so what we've got, task one, this is for the text, the first text. We've got six questions there. And for the second text, just four. Then task three, we're going to have the two texts together in one synthesis task. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I've put the question, so this is question one for the first text, I've put it here, and we'll just look at the question, and then we'll look at where you can find it in the text. Okay, I think that will be the easiest way to do this. Okay, so what have we got in the question? The Nile River Basin, we can see that there and there. Extremely fertile, okay, so most fertile areas in the world. So we've, we've got a good idea that it's going to be this paragraph. Okay, so the land surrounding the Nile River Basin, extremely fertile, great agricultural success. Flourishing, flourishing means being successful, developing well and everything going good. Agricultural economy. Okay, so we've got these clues, which we can also see in a paragraph. Um, crucial water supplies, necessary water to the area. Okay, so why? What was the reason for this success? What made the land good for farming and brought econom economic success from agriculture? Okay, so the success stemmed from, stemmed from means where did it come from? What was the cause of this? Okay, so the answer here, because of the annual Nile floods, all right? This is where the success came from, where it stemmed from. Okay, so annual Nile floods is your answer. On to question number two. Okay, in this one, um, this is an example of where you get a clue at the start of the paragraph, but then you have to go on and read right through to quite a long way on to get, actually get to the answer. Okay, so we've got Egypt's economic independence right at the start. We've got it here. Okay, began to be threatened in the late 1700s. Okay, late 1700s, we can see that in the question, the 1790s. Okay, so you might be thinking something here is the answer, but let's look at everything in the question, okay? Because, all right, don't, and I mean, look, this can also be a problem for you because you're going to see that there and you think, aha, that's right. But actually, it's down here. Look at this, okay? That's just when this started, okay? This, so that helps you find the right paragraph. But the really important thing here is this person's name, okay? Ismail Pasha. And we can see him here. So he's in the text. So be careful not to include any of this as your answer, okay? Because we've got to actually get to this person. And although you've got this time clue here, this actually happened nearly one century later, okay? Okay. It lost its political autonomy. That's a big clue here. So why did it do it? Because, okay, they fell into debt to European banks. So that's your answer. Okay, so be careful because you're going to see economic independence right at the start of the paragraph, but it's several sentences later that we get to this person. Okay, so anything you've written here is not the correct answer, I'm afraid. All right, on to question three. Okay. Okay, so this is an example of one where you need to get, you need to fill two gaps to get a point to get, you know, your answer is not correct if you have one gap and the other one's wrong. 
you need to have something in both. But usually in the text, you can find them quite close to each other. OK, so what have we got here? Quickly develop. Wanted to rapidly advance. These have a similar meaning. Um, the 1952 military coup. Military coup of the 1950s. So what, what is it? What did they want to make happen quickly? OK, this. OK, we've got and the and and the there. So this one's not too difficult to find. These two things. OK. All right, on to question number four. All right, two things we're looking for in the text. One, nationalization. We see that right there. And secondly, we have Soviet aid. Let's turn to the Soviet Union for aid. OK, so these are the two signs that we've found the right paragraph. Moving from an economy that fa favoured foreign trade, so it doesn't do this. It was this, but then it moved away into a different thing. So in the text, an economy that had once been open to foreign trade now closed itself off. OK, so it changed. It changed the idea of its economy. OK one that aim to achieve strive for means try to achieve to strive for something you try to achieve it so what did they try to achieve here's our answer right at the end of the paragraph okay so this one we need to read all the paragraph to get to the answer at the end okay let me close this up we can be close to the question okay we've got a big time marker here 1973 help us find the right place in the text quite quickly okay so we've got an attack on Israel attacked the Israelis okay so here we have the idea that there was some relationship between Egypt and the Soviet Union and what what happened here all right we've got two possible answers okay the ending of ties with the Soviet Union, so they, they stopped their link. There was no connection after this. Or, Sada expelled Soviet technicians and economic advisors. Okay, so this is your best answer, but this this is also relevant because it's, you know, they're, they're sending Soviet citizens away from the country. So that's going to have some effect on the relationship. Okay, and now on to question six. All right, so let's take a look at what this means. All right, other than tourism. What do we mean by other than tourism? Okay, so what is one way that the Egyptian economy has grown in recent decades? So we have this statement here. Okay, let's not think of this as a question for a second. Let's think of this as a statement. The Egyptian economy has grown in recent decades. Okay, there are reasons for this. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, last 25 years. So recent decades has a similar meaning to the last 25 years. Why? Tourism is one answer. Foreign remittances is an answer. Suez Canal receipts. So there are three factors. Now, let's look back at the question. Other than tourism. So this means we don't want you to give tourism as your answer. We want you to give a different reason. Okay, so if you give the answer tourism, you're wrong because we said we don't want tourism, we want one of the other things. So there are two answers you could do here. Now, maybe if you give all three of these, as you might, you might get a point. But read this quick question carefully and remember that if it says other than tourism, that means we don't want you to give tourism as the answer, we want you to give one of the other ways. Okay? And the question says one way, so give one. Don't give two. Alright? Give one. Alright, you're clever, we understand. We know that you found two in the in the text, but we don't need you to give us both of them. Okay? Alright, so those are the six questions for part A. I hope this gave you some idea about why you were so clever and why you were able to find all the answers. All right, thanks a lot. Come back and um, have a look at the answers for text B. Okay, bye.